Lunar and Solar Eclipse The Sun is the only star present in our solar system. It is an important natural source of light. Several planets and asteroids are orbiting around it. Likewise, the planets also have several heavenly bodies orbiting around them. Any heavenly body that orbits around a larger heavenly body is called a natural satellite. Moon is the only natural satellite of the Earth. It completes its orbit around the Earth in about 28 days. The Moon also rotates on its axis and completes one rotation in about the same time. This is precisely why we always see the same side of the Moon which has spots and is known as the near side. The other side of the Moon, also known as the far side, never faces the Earth and can only be seen from space. We see the moon as a bright light in the night sky, growing in shape from a thin crescent to a full moon in about 14 days. It shrinks back gradually in the next 14 days before appearing as a new moon. The moon has no light of its own. It appears to be shining because it reflects light from the sun. As the earth revolves around the sun, so does the moon around the earth. Thus, the sun, the earth and the moon fall in a straight line twice a year. Either the moon comes between the sun and the earth or the earth comes between the sun and the moon. Hence the moon casts its shadow on some portions of the earth or the earth casts its shadow on the moon. When the moon is between the sun and the earth, the event is known as a solar eclipse. A total solar eclipse occurs in the regions of the earth where the umbra or the darkest part of the shadow of the moon falls. To see the total solar eclipse from Earth, one has to be in this narrow path. A partial solar eclipse can be seen in regions where the penumbra or the fainter part of the shadow of the moon falls. There is a possibility that the moon may completely cover the sun because the moon and the sun appear to be of the same size in the sky. As the moon crosses the sun, a bright ring called the diamond ring, the ring of fire or the corona of the sun may appear in the sky for a very short period during a total solar eclipse. A total eclipse lasts for about seven and a half minutes. When the earth comes between the sun and the moon, the shadow of the earth falls on the moon. Partial eclipse occurs when the penumbra or the partially shaded outer region of the shadow cast by the earth falls on the moon. Total eclipse occurs when the umbra or the darkest part of the shadow cast by the earth falls on the moon. A full lunar eclipse generally lasts for about 1 hour and 40 minutes. During a full lunar eclipse, we can see the moon as slightly red, similar to the color of the sky during sunrise and sunset. This red color of the moon is the reflected sunlight from the earth's atmosphere. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.